Hi everybody, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for coming to my Saturday night fun jewelry bag coordinating night. I take the jewelry that I find in the unboxings and put it together in little matching sets, and I really do hope you like it. I usually do it on a Friday night, but sometimes I post them on a Saturday, so here we are. If you see anything that you like, all you need to do is email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. You can take a screenshot of my little notepad right here, note paper, and that will help you quite a bit. And then just send me the episode number, a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price that was given, okay? Thank you so much for that. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I welcome you here. I hope that you'll enjoy yourself so much that you'll want to subscribe. I'd really love to earn your subscription. And if you want to see my next video that comes out, we are working on 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry, then click the bell and hopefully you'll be notified when my next video comes out. I do know that my son said, my son told me that if you're not getting notifications, when you click that bell, you may need to click the word all, like there's a drop down window when you click the bell on YouTube and there'll be a word all and you need to check the box that says all. So he said that might help. Otherwise, if you're on a TV and you don't know how to subscribe, you can push your pause button or sometimes you just have a big round button and you just tap the center of it and all of a sudden you'll see uh, my channel logo up on the top of the screen. You can toggle up a little bit. You'll see my face and then you can toggle over to a little round spot that says channel. Then you click on channel or I think there's also a place where you just click the word subscribe. Yeah, I don't think you have to click channel. All right, so I, th I hope that helps because I know some of you are on television sets and you're not sure how to do that. So thank you for that. So here's my digital subscribe, like, ring the bell, ding, ding. Thanks so much. I hope that is helpful. So tonight we're going to get busy on these bags of jewelry that I put together. I do hope you love them. But I also have some friend mail that I wanted to share. And I think the first one I'm going to share is from Rosemary Kerr. And you're going to hear a lot of bags and boxes because I'm not going to bring the box up on the table. I don't want to show people's address. But I do want to share this because it was so sweet of her. Now, Rosemary and I have been friends for a while now. And I think some of her family is from this area that I am from. But she's in the UK. So we have had a lot of fun becoming friends and talking. For quite a while, we've become good friends. So she was talking one night about eating licorice. And I said how great that sounded. And she sent me licorice all the way from the UK. So I'm really excited and I'm way sugared out because it's so good. And she sent me this card that said big hugs. Hi, Sherry. Did you think I had forgotten your treats? Long story about misplaced envelopes. Very boring. Enjoy, dear girl. Love, Rosie. Rosie has a great way of writing and I love to read her emails because she's really funny. So, um, you'll have to excuse me because the bags are already open. I couldn't stand it. I had to get to taste them. It's really cool to see packages from another country, so this has been fun. So she sent me these licorice toffees. Oh, these are my favorites. They're so sweet and yummy and good. And she was talking about, I can't say it right, Pontefract cakes. And I thought it was a cake, but they are actually these licorice kind of gummy pieces. These are really good. They're not sweet like the toffees, but they're delish. And she sent me this bag, Army and Navy. So these are hard candies, and they are also delicious. And another one in the bag, too. It's in this little purple bag, and I think these are hard candies. Yes, I'm sure they are. And they look like this. And they're licorice also. 
but that was really fun to get that package from her. And a lot of packaging sound here. And to see how things are packaged in another country and to taste things from another place. So that was so fun. Thanks so much, Rosemary. Now, what is next? Okay. Next, it does, it's going to seem like I get a lot of friend mail, but actually it's been piling up for a while. As you all know, we had that pipe break in the apartment, so that kind of set us back. Just a lot of things. So I haven't been able to open the friend mail a little bit at a time, so it's going to kind of all be at once. All right, this one is from Betty Hollingsworth, and she's in North Carolina. And she writes me a very beautiful letter, but I don't want to read the whole thing because it's kind of personal. But I'll show you how pretty it is, and I'll show you the bottom of it. And she does say, P.S., there is something special for you. And then she says, love your channel, and you can say anything you want on YouTube. <laughs> so thank you, Betty. That's a beautiful note. And she sent me this ring light. So I'm very excited to use this. I think she said she bought a couple of them, so she got an extra one or something. So that's going to be great. That's really going to add to my to my YouTube channel and needing more light in the wintertime. So I'm excited about that. Okay, what else do we have? Now this, I haven't seen any of this. It's also put two bags of jewelry in the box. So I'm going to see what this is really quick. There's a gorgeous enamel ring. That is beautiful. Look at the color, turquoise and cream color. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, that will probably fit right there. Let's see. I don't, well, maybe I'm going to have to wear it on this finger, so we'll see. But I don't want to lose anything, so let me just keep it together. Oh, and she's got a little mesh bag like I'm going to show. So she said to, you know, do anything I would like to with this, make some money with it, or keep what I want. So that was nice of her. Wow, look how pretty this is. It's beautiful. So this is friend mail that was sent to me. And this is from Chico's. I love that. The colors are wonderful. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Okay, you might be seeing that come up next week in the color bags. This bag looks like it has a matching set. Oh my. I see a necklace, a bracelet. They're like a silvery purple color pearl and a pair of sweet earrings. Look how cute they are. Wow, that's beautiful. Thanks so much for that. And then there's this bag. Oh my goodness. And again, this is from Betty Hollingsworth. This looks like a nice vintage necklace. Ooh, she knows what I love. Oh, but this one's broken, so that's okay. Maybe this is a craft project, or I can put it back together. It's beautiful, though. I love the colors. Look at the glass beads. That's fantastic. Oopsie. Okay, I'm going to keep this in here so it doesn't go anywhere. And maybe that's why it's in a zip bag. So that's fun. Thank you so much for sending that. Gorgeous beads. And... Oh, can I use bracelets so much? That's a gorgeous one. Look at how beautiful. It's got rhinestones and it's gold and glittery. And the inside is like a black color. Beautiful. Wow. She knows what I love. Look at this. It's a three or four tier pearl necklace with the hook clasp. And it's signed something, maybe Japan. Did I bring my loop out? No, I forgot my good loop, but I'll go get it. It is signed Japan, yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Look at this necklace. It's got crystals, black faceted glass. I love the filigree end cap beads. Oh my, absolutely gorgeous. And another bracelet in a silver tone. Such beautiful pieces. Wow, this is my favorite so far. That's beautiful. Okay, now. There is also a beautiful, colorful shell bracelet. That's so pretty. All dyed shell. Look at all those lovely colors. Bolty, I don't know, you already had your dinner, Bolty Cat. Be quiet, you. This, oh, this says something special. So maybe this is that special piece she sent me, although everything looks pretty special to me. Oh, it's a beautiful lighthouse pendant. Yes. Oh, it's. I thought it was on the chain. Okay, so there's a lovely chain and a matching bracelet, like a Figaro style. That's beautiful. And then this brooch that can be a pendant or a brooch. Oh, that's so pretty. And that looks like right here where I live. Looks like a Cape Cod scene to me. Very beautiful, thank you for that. And look how adorable this ring is. This is so cute, it's like a, maybe a rose quartz on a gold tone. That is lovely, really, really pretty. Thank you so much for all of that. What beautiful, beautiful things. I really appreciate it. She goes in that ring. And the beautiful set, three piece set here. And that Japan piece is so gorgeous. So, wow, Betty, thank you very, very, very much. I'm so happy that I'm finally able to show some of this. Okay, next is a box from Anne. And Anne and I have become good friends too. She's just a lovely, lovely lady. She's so supportive and so sweet to me. I feel like she's the sister I never had, you know? Now, let me see if this is too private, because I did read it before, but I hope this little package finds you doing well. These are some pieces that I hope you can find names for, homes for, or keep for yourself if you choose. I heard you say you don't have many bracelets, so I selected some. So, and then she says, lots of love. Anne. And that's her beautiful card. Very, very beautiful. Oh, and I already have her bracelet on. I've been wearing it since I opened the box the other day. Now, I took a really quick look at the stuff when I opened it um, last week, but not really very much at all. I didn't have the time. So I'm going to look at it now. She says the that this is artist made. Oh, I love her notes on here. Artist made, she purchased it in Virginia Beach, Virginia, 1995 or 96, wow. So it's a gold tone, silver tone, beautiful swirly bracelet. An artist made it. That's fabulous to know. It's gorgeous, I love it. I feel like my lights are not doing anything justice here. That's a little better. Beautiful, okay. Oh my, how sweet is that? It's a vintage bracelet, I love the clasp. Look at that chain, it's a beautiful chain and look at the graduated pearls. Oh, that's so lovely. I wish I had it on right now. I kinda wanna do like gold bracelets on this arm and silver bracelets on this arm. I'm thinking about it. And look at this multi-tone as well. Oh, look at the cute little black dress. That's a beautiful bracelet too. Yep, that's for sure. And then this one says, has a tiny mark that I can't read. <laughs> okay, let's see what it says. Let's see if we can show her with our loopy loop. Okay, well, one of the marks is 925, and I might have to go get my good loop because this one is not my good one. 
Yeah, let me do that and I'll come right back. I'm so silly. I'm running around having a fit. Where is my good loop? It was in my pocket. I was ready the whole time. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. This says, now that I said I'm going to be able to show it, I better be able to. Where's the camera? Right here, right? Okay. So this part says, made in Italy. Yep, it's upside down, but it says made in Italy. And then this part says 925. Still not doing a good job, am I? I'll get used to it. And the clasp probably has a 925 as well. Yep. So that's what it says, made in Italy. Is that the little part that you couldn't read? It's beautiful. Look at it. So it's sterling silver, Italy, twisty gold and silver bracelet. What a lovely, dainty, beautiful piece. Wow, Anne, that's so pretty. Tiny Link has 925. So this is the bracelet that I'm wearing here. And I think this tag came off of it. And she's saying that it's marked 925. And then this bracelet came out of it too. It's a beautiful silver tone mesh. I haven't looked at anything. Oh, I see something inside of there. And that says, oh, that says 925 as well, 925 Italy. Wow, and thank you for that. You sent me some beautiful things. That's gorgeous. I love that. I have never seen a sterling silver mesh bracelet before. I have to fold my sleeves up. I feel like I'm in kindergarten because they're folded up like this, but they're really long and I don't want them to get in the way. So you'll have to forgive my kindergarten folded up sleeves. But that looks cool, doesn't it? Really nice. Okay. And there's more. Wow, what is that? Oh, it's leather. And it's a brooch? Oh, isn't that cute? And it's from Ann Taylor. That's beautiful. That's a lovely statement piece for sure. Would look good on a lot of things. Okay. I have so many bags to show tonight, so I want to go quickly, but at the same time not go so fast that I don't show respect. <gasps> look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's all acrylic. That's beautiful. These are really, really hot right now, too. Oh, I want to wear everything. This goes with my top, too. And my rings. So someone wanted me to say what my rings are. So I will let you know. This one is a pearl on sterling. I got it at a thrift store for $5. This is a Labradite that I ordered on eBay from a thrift store. I, was, I bought it to sell it, but fell in love with it, and it's on sterling. And this one I've had for a while from Bow Jewels, B-E-A-U. It's a vintage ring, and I got it at a thrift store for like a dollar. This I got in an unboxing. It's abalone and sterling, Mexico, I believe. Um, and this one I bought at the fair. You might have seen that video. And this one I got in an unboxing. It's a marcasite ring. So that's the story of my rings. I'm sorry that I didn't show them last time. Okay, so this is so wild and beautiful. I love it. This one says Sarah Cobb on it. <gasps> wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is stunningly beautiful. I have some Sarah Coventry earrings and bracelets. I wonder if any of them are going to go with this. And that's gorgeous. Oh, I have chills. That's so beautiful. Wow. Okay. Another package. This looks like a vintage piece, too. Maybe a Coro. It's got that Coro look to it. Let's see what it says on the clasp. And it says Coro. That's beautiful. Wow. 
the leaves and the, the beautiful bobble in the back and the hook. That is gorgeous. Everyone should own Coro. I really love Coro. I've come to really respect and love the Coro. Oh, she wrote something. Coro. Somewhere in the back. Okay. Then there is this box. And I think something else is in it. Not what it seems. <gasps> what are you? Oh, my heart. It's a red stone brooch. Oh, this is so beautiful. It looks like garnet and sterling. I mean, it really does. It's a very beautiful pin. Wow. Oh my. Just look at that color. Faceted and beautiful. And I love the silver bead balls on any jewelry. I think it's a beautiful addition to anything. That's a gorgeous piece. Okay. And there is this bag. I love her little notes. This is from the 80s, she said. Oh, that's a pretty pin. Nice. Very, very nice. Nice bow pin. Silver tone. And an enamel and rhinestone pin. Gorgeous. Love the colors. Oh, this is pretty. So let me put the pin in and then be able to show you. Gold tone. Oh, it's like a, a ribbon, a red and white ribbon with a pearl hanging. That's gorgeous. That's so beautiful. Thank you. And uh oh, this one I'm going to have to just kind of put behind the paper. I appreciate it, but I can't, I kind of can't do those. So I'm just going to tuck it there and thank you for it very much. She probably has no idea, but yeah, I, I kind of can't do those. So I apologize, but I will definitely find good use for it. Now in here, oh, how sweet. I have a bracelet exactly like this. Exactly. Those are so cute, love those. The paper is so pretty, all these different color paper. Now this says, has marks, I can't read, okay? That's why you need a loop, my friend. I sound like Dr. Lori, you gotta get your loop. It's like your magnet, your money magnet or something, she says. But it is really, I couldn't live without the loop. This is beautiful, vintage necklace, enamel. Looks like white enamel and black enamel. So this one has a mark you can't read. And let me see, where would it be? On the clasp? Mm, I don't know, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I don't see any mark anywhere. But I'll keep looking, and maybe it's on the little one. I'll keep looking, and if I can figure it out, I'll let you know. But I'm not seeing anything so far. Maybe this note fell off of something else. Or maybe this, maybe I got confused with the note. So we'll see about that. But these are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, and this one is going to go in here. I'm going to find a good home for him. Wow, beautiful stuff. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay. There is an awesome clamper bracelet. It is cream enamel with the gold tone collar. Very beautiful. Thank you for listening to my complaining that I need bracelets and then sending me some. That was very sweet of you. And another one. All right. It's a very, it's a woven, 
I don't know, maybe like a... Someone said the earrings that I showed the other night that had what I thought was paper was like a corn husk or a grass. So maybe this is like a grass woven bracelet. It's very pretty. It's black and white or black and like a, you know, that rattan color. So that is so beautiful. I'm gonna put these back in the box. Keep them all safe. Such beautiful things. Oh my gosh, I can't thank you enough. Very, very lovely. And at the risk of taking too much time, I'm going to do the last one. And this is from Aggie. Oh, Aggie, you've waited so long for me to open this. I'm so sorry that I've had troubles and wasn't able to do this. So thank you all for waiting for this and being patient. Dear Sherry, here is a little something. I don't use it. Sell it, make some money. Love, Aggie. Thanks, Aggie. Oops, I opened the box and it fell out. Okay, that's okay, because it fell right into the box that she shipped it in. So we have a beautiful shell bracelet. Love those colors. That's a nice one, nice stretch on it. Wow, look at these. You will not believe it. I just got a necklace exactly like this. And I think, let's see, where is it? Is it in our unboxing? Oh, I'm gonna have to find it. You're not gonna believe I have the necklace that matches exactly. And I think the necklace is not marked, but the earrings are marked Lesnar. So now I know what the necklace is. Thank you, they're beautiful. And this is a wide drop necklace, silvery, shimmery, black and silver glass and on a silver tone, lobster clasp, beautiful. And this looks like a clip-on. I don't know if it's a single or the other one. Nope, the other one is in the box because everyone knows I can use single earrings to clip on some of the jewelry when I make our Friday night fun bags. So there it is, beautiful sort of rope swirly gold tone clip-on earrings, gorgeous. Now, this box I'm going to hold together and not let it open. So these are going to go back in here. Thank you, everyone, for watching my friend mail. Again, if you're just joining, I don't usually get a lot of friend mail. It's just that this has kind of backed up a little, and I wasn't able to open it for a long time. So I really want to honor these people who sent it. And this is from Aggie. And this is a glass bracelet. Very beautiful, black and silvery. And wow, look at that piece. That's a necklace. It's on like a gun metal. It's from Erica Lyons, the EL. That's stunning. It almost looks like abalone. It might be abalone inlay. And it's got rhinestones here. Ooh, wow, Aggie. I bet you everyone's going to be asking me for that one. Okay, so that's that box. And then this, oh my goodness, isn't it stunning? It's very heavy. I want to say it's like an egg. And then she says to put your rings in. That's marvelous. I certainly do need something to put my rings in. Isn't it beautiful? That's so pretty. And it's very heavy so it doesn't fall off your dresser and I love the inside it's so beautiful thank you I'm gonna leave the note in so I can always remember that you gave it to me because I think that's the best part and that's what we have from Aggie let me see oh there's another no wait a minute did Aggie send these too for Miss Prissy so she sent some more eyes, too. Oh, that's funny. So that's a second person that sent eyes. Oh, thank you very much, Aggie. And Anne and Betty. I appreciate you all very much. I try not to cry on the camera. And, of course, thank you to Rosie, too, for sending me the candy. I'm sure I'm going to gain 10 pounds. That's for sure. 
Okay, so now we're going to start our Saturday night jewelry matching bags that I put together. And I usually have them numbered and measured, but I'm not going to have them numbered and measured tonight because I just barely got around to finishing them. Okay, so bag number one tonight is a very stunningly beautiful I couldn't believe this was a vintage Avon. Nothing against vintage Avon, it's gorgeous jewelry. But look at this chain. It's really beautiful. It's in like a square um, serpentine type shape. And the condition is just fabulous. I love the color to the gold. Now I'm going to try to use this new buster to see if we can see all the jewelry, but I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I have to wait until my table can be set back further. But let's give it a try. Let's see if I can put this where it gives me some more room. Let's see. I don't know. I'll, I'll try, guys. Yeah, it's really tough. I need one of... I, I do have a really tall one, but I can't get the whole thing in view. So... I'm going to have to go back to our other buster for now, but I thought I'd give it the old college try. Alrighty. Now i got to fix the microphone. It just fell. Yikesies. Testing one, two. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, reminds me of my days in music when we had to do all that testing one, two on the mic. So here's the chain. It's absolutely fabulous. And I have this gorgeous Roman, it's made by Roman, necklace enhancer. It's signed right here by Roman, really well made. It's a faux pearl with beautiful crystals all around the outside. And I thought it looked absolutely stunning on this chain. Now the chain is so beautiful in itself, you don't need anything. But if you wanted something, Here's a beautiful pendant that you can wear on your Avon chain. So it's Avon and Roman. So far, two, um, two name brands. And then to go along with the beautiful necklace, I have these little crystal gold tone uh, blingy type earrings. They look a lot like those eyelash earrings, don't they? In a, maybe a smaller form. So I like those with it. They kind of pick up on the round pattern from the pendant, and they also pick up on the rhinestones. So I like that. And then if you wanted to wear something more fun for the holidays, I have these glass faux pearl earrings from Avon. They are very nice. I love those little snowmen. They also pick up on the pearl and the gold tone in the chain. So I hope you love those Avon earrings, the snowman. And then I have this very vintage bracelet that's in a rice pearl shape and it has gold beads in between. Now the bracelet measures, so on this episode, I don't have everything all measured out. Seven and a half. So I'm gonna measure it as we go. Um, yes. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I'll go the best I can. So you have your Avon glass pearl, very nice earrings, and your blingy rhinestone, oops, half circle earrings as well to pick up on the rhinestones. Then you have your bracelet that I measured, and then I'm just gonna measure this chain. It's a nice long chain. It's 24 inches, so there you go. It's just stunning, I hope you love it. Avon times two pieces, two pieces of Avon, a Roman brooch and bracelet and earrings. So that's bag number one. I don't even have them written out yet, so we'll just do it as we go. And I think I will call this, I didn't have time to think up fun names, so we'll call it Roman Avon, and we'll do this one for 39. So bag number one, Roman Avon, 39. Now another problem I'm having is 
I bought new mesh bags and the tape is not sticking to them. So I'm gonna try this tape. It's like one of those, I don't know what you call them, washi tapes? Yeah, I can't, yeah. One of those tapes. Let's see if it works better. Because I really want the name on the outside of the bag just for, for many reasons. So bag number one, there we go. Bag number two is gonna be a fun one as well. I have a Betsy Johnson necklace. Isn't that beautiful? I love all the blues and all the sparkly rhinestones and roses. and It's a very lovely piece. There's your Betsy Johnson heart um, marker. Now, I think this is the first Betsy Johnson piece I've ever had, so let me make sure that's what it is. Yes. And it does say it on the other side. So let me measure it while I have it in the air. And it measures 16 inches plus another two inches extender, so 16 to 18 inches. And then to go with that, I have these gold tone bangles that are textured. I thought they looked very nice with that. They picked up on the other texture in the necklace. Let me get bag number one out of the way. There we go. And I probably should point us down. That's probably better. Okay, and the bangles, they probably measure about eight. They usually do. Yes, they do. So gold tone textured bangles. And yeah, gold tone, I already said that. And then I have these crystal snowman earrings again. Well, not again. The others were pearl, but you know what I'm saying. They're beautiful crystals. They have the same coloring in them, which is why I'm putting them together with the set. These colors were not easy to match, so I thought that went very well, and it's sort of in season, too. Then I'm going to add this blue and white, or blue and clear, rhinestone crystal brooch with a little heart shape. Isn't that pretty? So that's going to go with the set as well. I hope you really love that Betsy Johnson. So this will be bag number two. And we'll call it Betsy. And I'm going to tape this onto the bag so it doesn't get lost. This is really sticky tape. So I'm hoping it's going to work really well. So again, you've got your three bangles, your crystal snowman earrings, your brooch, silver tone. Everything works great. And your Betsy Johnson. Hope you love it. So that's bag number two, and I do know Betsy Johnson's collectible, and they go pretty well. So I'm going to price this up a little bit to 48. So bag number two is called Betsy for 48. Bag number three is a very beautiful necklace. I don't know who the maker is, but when I saw it, I thought we have to do a jewelry bag of this necklace. It's just too pretty. So it is a gold tone necklace. It has black rhinestones all along here. And then it has these beautiful AB crystal, black faceted crystal, gold tone bars, and then the black chain tassel on the bottom. It hangs very beautifully. So that's that one. Isn't that so pretty? It just has a gorgeous look to it. I'll show you the chain if Buster doesn't grab onto it. It's a gold tone chain in very lovely condition. It's a nice long chain with a lobster clasp. So it's a long necklace and it has a long tassel. The necklace is 32 inches long and then the tassel is another seven or eight inches. I thought it was so gorgeous. And the black chains on the bottom are really pretty. So what do you put with something like this? Well, I found these black art glass earrings. They have a little bit of um, like a copper in them and a swirl. And I love that they're in the shape of a heart. 
They are on silver tone wires. They're just beautiful. I love it with that. And then I found these gold tone earrings that somehow pick up on the center of the, the way the necklace is shaped there. It just reminded me of it. So I like these shiny gold tone larger earrings if you wanted to wear something bigger. So I got that. And then I am putting another Roman piece. This is a Roman bracelet. I'm not sure if it's hematite or it's made to look like hematite. It is cold. It might be glass. I could check with Miss Chrissy, but I'm just going to say it's a Roman bracelet in great condition, and it's a very good match. The bracelet sits at a seven, but again, it's a stretch. So I hope you love that set. Lots of beautiful shimmery blues and purples and black and gold. And that is bag number three. What are we going to call you, bag number three? Let's call it tassel time. And stick that on the bag. Yeah, I've really gotten spoiled with having this stuff done before the video. But if I was going to get a video out tonight, I would have to do it while I was taping. So here goes your bracelet, your gold tone earrings, your art glass earrings, and this beautiful necklace that I already measured. That's bag number three called Tassel Time. And I'm going to price this at 25 So bag three. Tassel time, 25. Okay, I better write my number before I start talking because I might forget. This is going to be bag number four. And this is a lovely, beautiful silver tone necklace. I really try to get silver tone sets together. And I don't know what it is, but I keep gravitating toward the gold tone. So I have a lot more silver tone sets to put together in the weeks to come. And I'm really glad I got one put together today. The chain is a delicate, beautiful chain. So it does take a minute because it was in that bag. Let me get it untangled and presentable. It's a very different kind of silver tone. It's almost like when you see gold tone and it's very brushed. This is a brushed silver tone. It's just really pretty. I thought it was very different. So the necklace comes down like this. It has these circle and square beads. And then it has a second chain that hangs down like that. So that's how it wears. And then all along the chain, can you see the little, like, tri not triangular, rectangular little bars on the chain? so pretty. I always wish I knew who the maker was because it's a very lovely piece. And it's in that very soft brush silver tone, which was not easy to match. I had to find pieces that were also brushed silver tone. So I'm bringing in these brushed silver tone earrings and they have a piece of sodalite on them. That is a genuine sodalite stone and it picks up on the circles and it's a very soft silver tone. So I thought those were great. These might be sterling. I hope they are. That would be great for you. And with that, again, it was tough to find a brushed silver tone bracelet, but I've got this one. It is a stretch, but it's not on a elastic stretch. It's one of those vintage stretch this way. And it measures seven and stretches out to, you know, over an eight. So that's the bracelet. And then I'm also putting this brooch with the set. I thought it would look really pretty to wear it on the chain, but if it's too much and you don't want it on the chain, then you just wear it yourself. So there you go. It's bag number four. And you have a silver tone brooch with a leaf design. Your brushed silver tone bracelet your brushed silver tone earrings with sodalite and this lovely 
dainty chain necklace. It is on a lobster clasp. It's got a long extension too. Now the necklace measures 24 inches to the first drop and then 32 inches where this chain drops. So 24 and 32 and then you still have another two or three inch extender. So it's a beautiful long piece. Really pretty finish to that chain. So I hope you love that one. Bag number four. We're going to call it Soft Silver. And I will say for this set, we'll do 24. So bag number four, Soft Silver for $24. If you see something you like, just send me the email. I do answer my emails in the order that I receive them, except for a few uh, people that have been purchasing from me quite, um, how can I say? I do sometimes go to, a, to maybe two or three other subscribers that are just so faithful but most of the time, all of the emails are answered in the order they're received. So just letting you know that. And I haven't set up the patron thing yet. I am working on it. And then that will solve that. So bag four, soft silver, 24. Bag number five. This one is so pretty. I love this necklace. It's all glass. Uh, let's see, did it have a clasp? Yes, it does. So it has a silver tone lobster clasp. I think it is definitely an older necklace, not terribly old, but it has all this beautiful glass faceted over here. And then these AB crystal barrel beads with faux pearls in between. It's not just a pretty look. It's very shimmery, but it's also very classic looking. And it's quite long too. It's nice and cold and all glass. And I just love those little beads there that have the AB coating on them too. It's a great looking necklace. It's 32 inches. So that means you could double it, I think, right? 32, well, that would be up to you if it would double. But we'll double it right now for the sake of looking at it. And then with this necklace, I thought these earrings looked fantastic. They are also art glass earrings. Someone did a beautiful job. There's faceted black glass beads here. And there's the clear crystal beads in between as well. They're on a silver tone wire. I thought they looked fabulous with that. And then to keep the theme going with the pearls and the black enamel, I have these beautiful earrings. Aren't they so cute? These are pierced. They are older. They're in great condition. And I love them with this necklace. So you can wear dangle earrings or you can wear a post type earring. And next I have this, um, I, I don't think it's enamel. I think it's a lucite or a um, acrylic bracelet. It has a pretty thick acrylic layer over this clamper. And it has a beautiful safety chain on it. Thought that was lovely and it's silver tone inside. And the bracelet sits at about a six and three quarters and it's so pretty with this set. So you have your silvery shimmery colors, your black, your pearls, and the AB sparkle. You just can't beat that AB crystal sparkle. Okay so this is bag number five. What do you guys think we should name it? Um, let's see. I wish I could hear you all. I wish I can't wait till I go live and you can help me name the bags. Let's call it. I just scribbled on the paper. Classic Daisy. How about that? Because it's a very classic looking. Oh my gosh, I scribbled. Very classic looking piece, but it has those pretty flower earrings. So bag number five. Here's your pierced earrings, pretty good size, lovely pearls inside. Your art glass earrings with all the crystals that match the necklace. Your lovely clamper bracelet with the, with the um, 
safety chain and your necklace that I already measured. And I'll let you hear the glass. It is all glass. And it's in great shape. So I hope you love that one. I think it's so pretty. Bag five is called Classic Daisy. And that one is for $38. I don't think my new tape is sticking, but that's okay. I'll work it out. I will work it out. I'll have to just order those other bags that I had. They were the best. There you go. Bag five, classic Daisy, 38. Okay, bag number six is coming up. There we go. You can have something to look at, a number six, while I get the necklace out. So this necklace has no clasp, but it has a lot of glass. It's very beautiful. I'm trying to think, I think this would be the back part of it. But look at this chain. It's gorgeous. They just don't make them like this anymore. I'm just really in awe of these vintage pieces. So these are faux pearls. They're glass. And the gold tone chain is lovely. They're stationed on the necklace. And then it comes down like this. So you could wear it this way. Well, let me explain. There's one part of the chain that has no pearls on it that's this long. And then there's the other part of the chain with no pearls that's this long. So you could wear it this way, where it shows the pearls there. Or you could turn it this way and show the longer chain on the bottom. Do you know what I mean? So I like that, that it gives you choices and that it is such a beautiful chain in really good shape. Very, very pretty. And for this piece, I am adding a beautiful scarf clip because I think it would look great either way that you wear this necklace to just add a little bit of gold shimmer and just a little bit more texture. So there's your scarf clip. You can, of course, wear it as a scarf clip as well, but to put it on the necklace, you just put it right there. Easy as pie. Now, to continue the theme of the pendant, or the scarf clip pendant, I have these French knot earrings. They are clip-ons, gold tone. I thought that looked super nice. And then I have this vintage Avon bracelet. It's also in a textured gold tone. Thought that looked very nice with that. I'll measure the bracelet. It is eight inches. That's a nice size bracelet. And it is signed Avon, so you've got that piece. And then I'm adding these pearl and gold earrings. Now these say SP on the back. They might also be Avon earrings. They have the pearls. And I think you can kind of exchange what you want to wear on them kind of thing. You take the back of the earring off and you can slip these off or on. So that's like three pairs of earrings in one. I love that. Gold tone, probably Avon. And I like them very much with that necklace. Isn't that so sweet? So this is bag number six, and hmm, sometimes I might name the bags the same things, but I think it's been weeks since I've used this one. I'm going to call it Golden Pearls. So bag six is called Golden Pearls. Lots of nice vintage pieces in here. You have an Avon bracelet. Pretty sure those are Avon earrings, three in one. Then you have some beautiful clip-ons, a vintage scarf clip, and this necklace is really super nice quality. It's just a lovely piece. It's one of those, you know, you just have to have it in your wardrobe. It measures um, 36 inches, yeah. So there you go. Gorgeous vintage pieces. Bag number six, golden pearls. 
and for this one I'll say 47. It's got some nice name brands in there and just good, good, good quality. And that's what I've been hearing from people when they get their bags of jewelry. They are saying that they love the quality and they are enjoying the jewelry. So it's nice to know. And a lot of times they say that it's even better than they expected. And that means everything to me. So I'm so happy about that. Now, before I get distracted, this is going to be bag number seven. And in this bag, we have, can you hear those pearls? A nice long set of glass pearls. Such a classic part of any wardrobe. Everyone should have these. They are super long. You can do a thousand things with them. I will show you the whole strand. There is no clasp. They're beautiful condition. I love their color. Just a beautiful color. A little bit of an off-white. Really nice. And this measures, oh my goodness, almost off my table. It's, let's see, that would be 60 inches, so it's 58, 5, 8 inches. Isn't that nice? So I'm going to wrap them around a little bit so you can have a good look at them. But they are glass. They are beautiful and nice and long piece. So you can do lots of things with it. And I found this. Well, I've been holding on to this. This is a clip-on earring just loaded with pave, teeny little rhinestones. It's quite gorgeous. I wish I knew who made it. But I wanted you to see how really beautiful it looks on this necklace. So I'm going to clip it to just one strand of the pearls. And because I think since it doesn't have a clasp, you're not going to be able to wrap it three times. But you'll be able to wrap it two times. So that's what I was thinking. You wrap it twice and you wear this at the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? I really like it. I hope you like it too. So, in order to match with our pearls and our rhinestones, I have this wonderful pair of pierced earrings. I'm looking for my scissors because there's too much paper on this. <laughs> I forgot to cut the paper down on this little flappy paper that I hold them together with. So, they're silver tone earrings. They are also just encrusted with these beautiful crystals. They are pierced and they're in great shape and I love those they really pick up on that pendant and bring it together oops I guess my new ring light is really going to come in handy come on stay there thank you and next of course a set of pearl earrings they are the same color they're little pearl studs and I loved how they were just the same color and so simple and beautiful. And then with all of that silver and glitter and pearls, I have this gorgeous Monet bracelet. It's got a lovely, like a fabric texture on it. It is definitely signed inside, Monet. And it's a clamper bracelet. Look at that together. Isn't that stunning? Just a very soft white. It looks like snow and sparkle and and all kinds of things. The bracelet measures about seven inches, maybe a little bit under seven. And the earrings want to roll off of there. And that is the set of pearls and shimmery, shiny, beautiful stuff. I'm so glad to be able to use this gorgeous earring and not have it go to waste. And I love how this just came together. I, this, this bag made me very happy. So let's see. What are we going to call you? What did I call it? I said shimmery, snowy, pearly. <laughs> so bag seven we'll call shimmery snow. You have your Monet signed bracelet, perfect condition, clamper, your pave encrusted 
earrings, lovely silver tone, and they're nice and thick too. And then your pearl earrings. Just a sweet set of pearls that match the necklace. And then you have your necklace enhancer. It's just so pretty. And your long set of glass pearls. So there you go, bag seven. And it's called Shimmery Snow. And we will do this set for, let's see, the long pearls, the bracelet, all of the matching. Okay, I'm going to say 52 on this one. Now, I've had other YouTubers ask me, you know, how, how I price the sets that I have. And um, I was explaining to them that it's not just that you're buying a necklace, an earrings, a bracelet, and just throwing the prices together. You have to add in the fact that you've paid for the jewelry first, you've sorted it, you've found it, you've put it all together to match, and that's going to save that person going from store to store to find all these pieces to match. So, yeah, I think they understood a little bit more when I explained it that way. So I hope you like this too. It does save you a lot of running around and matching things, I hope. And I hope you think they're beautiful. So that's bag seven. Now bag eight is really different from bag seven. And I like to do that too. I like to have as many different things as I can so that hopefully somebody will love each and everything. This necklace I have adored for a long time and I do think it's quite old. It's on, I think copper, has a copper lobster clasp. And if you take a look, the chain is quite patinaed, but it's a beautiful quality copper chain and then it has these gorgeous beads on it. It's just so beautiful. It looks like sterling and amber, and it's in such great condition. There's no scratching on it or anything. So I think up top, these are acrylic beads that are painted, and then they're painted with a coppery, splattery look. And then these are a very different type of acrylic and they have brown swirly marbly colors all throughout and then you have this what might be a wooden bead that's painted copper can't really tell but it's not cold at all and then again your acrylic beads and back to maybe a wooden bead and then look at the clear acrylic that looks like amber and then back to the copper and so on and so forth so I think it's looking like a gorgeous faux turquoise and amber necklace. It just looks so good on the neck with all those colors. And the colors were not easy to match. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying. Now, I love these earrings with the set. I think they pick up the colors very well. They're nice and bobbly. They're on like a copper color wire themselves. And they're one of those pairs of wooden earrings that are just great pieces. They used a good quality wood and they did a great job with them. So I love those with that. I don't know how I'm gonna get them to stay. Maybe I can hook them here. Let's see. We'll lay them right there in the middle. There you go. And then with that, I have this bracelet. It has a lot of the same colors. This is a natural stone bracelet but the stones probably have been dyed and enhanced, which is fine. And then it has silver tone beads in between. So that's on a stretch. It's not really, really stretchy, but I'm not worried about what's gonna happen to it. It's in good condition for sure. It sits at a seven and the colors are wonderful. I hope you love that. And for another pair of earrings, I always wanna give you something if you want to tone it down or if you want to wear some bigger earrings. So here's your smaller, more toned down pair. Another pair of beautiful art glass. They have that green inside. So pretty and the blue seed bead at the end. Silver tone findings. And look at that sweet little um, turquoise colored pearl on the top. 
their silver tone wires and they're just really a nice match again. So that is bag number eight. And what are we going to call that one? Um, let's see. Hmm, I don't know. I'm stuck on that one. It's so pretty, the greens and the browns. I'll call it... <laughs> so silly, this name. Bag number eight, I'm calling it Blue Brown. I'm sorry that I don't feel so creative with the names. And... Oh, I'm sorry, we're on bag seven. You're probably all yelling, no, Sherry, it's bag seven. Good, now I get to throw away my silly name. <laughs> okay, bag seven. Now I have to think of a good name. Come on, you can do it, Sherry. Let's call it, <laughs> now you're gonna be sending me two different names. All right, bag seven is called Turquoise Vintage turquoise. That's what it's called. Vintage turquoise. Oh my gosh, my writing. Okay, let's all start over. Rewind. Bag seven is vintage turquoise. I hope you love it. And this one is going to go for 32. Okay, so let's put it all back in the bag. You have your beautiful quality wood earrings, your matching bracelet, the colors matching anyway, real stone, your beautiful art glass earrings, and this necklace that is just so awesome. It's really a beauty. It measures 18 inches fully extended. Okay, so that's not too bad. You've got, it's not terribly short and I could probably add an extender if you needed, so just let me know if you want a couple inches extender. But look at those colors, isn't that awesome? I really love that. Bag seven, turquoise, vintage turquoise for 32. And I'm gonna try to stick it on the bag. I hope it stays. It's much easier than it falling in the bag. Okay, now we're on to bag eight. Let's not rush ourselves. And bag eight is a Trafari necklace. We have this Trafari, I think it's faux, um, oh, what's the name of that pink stone? Rhodochrysophrase or rhodochrysite. Rhoda yeah, rhodochrysite, Rhoda that's the name of it. It's faux rhodochrysite. And it's on this really cool chain that only Trafari can do. That's the back of it. And the chain comes down to here. There's your Trafari hang tag, lobster clasp. It's in really good shape. I think it's not meant to be a really goldy gold. It's just a soft gold, but look at that chain. Isn't that so cool? So there's your Trafari necklace. And to go with that, I have this bracelet in similar colors. It's got gold tone beads and sort of a brick red um, glass beads. They might be stone. I could turn on Miss Prissy because I think these are very cold and they feel like stone. And I do love the gold tone beads that are in between. It's a very perfect stretch. They're probably, um, hmm trying to think of that stone. Jasper. They're probably Jaspers. So we'll let Miss Prissy heat up and while she does, it's a stretch bracelet that sits at a six and a half, but of course can be bigger. So I love the colors. I think they're great. And then with this, I'm going to add these very vintage screw back earrings and they have a beautiful, like um, a rose mauve colored glass pearl hanging from the front. And then on the top is a silvery goldish tone bead that there. It's more like a softer pink. So I really like those with that. I thought they went very well. And that I could also give you some vintage earrings with your set. Okay, let's see what these test as. 
Yes, yeah, so they are going to stone. So at least you do know that they are um, natural stone on the bracelet. So that's nice. And then for the other earrings, I have these Cloisonne peacock earrings. They have that same color in them that the pendant is. And I thought that looked really great with your um, with your Trafari. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So we're going to call this Red Trafari. It's set number eight. And I'll do this one for, let's do this one for 35, okay? So bag number eight, Red Trafari, 35. We're actually going to take some of this tape and see if it works. There we go. So there's your bracelet, your pierced cloisonne peacock earrings. There's the back. You're very vintage. They're kind of heavy. Pinkish and that same color to match the necklace. And then your Trafari necklace. And I'll measure this. It is... 18 inches and then you have another two inches on the extender just a great chain and a really pretty pendant too so i hope you love bag number eight trafari for 35. i thought i'd take a minute if you're just jumping in and joining the video to let you know how to purchase some of the jewelry bags if you would email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com please give me the episode number a brief description of what's in the bag, the bag number, and the price. So it's a little bit different than what we do on the unboxings. You don't have to get timestamps. You just need to give me the episode number, brief description, and the bag number. And it does seem silly that I need the episode number, but you'd be surprised how many people are watching, you know, Friday or Saturday night fun bags from weeks ago, and they think it's live, and they think that those are the bags that are for sale. So the episode numbers have been a lifesaver for us. So thank you for that. Okay, we are on to bag number nine. And my pen ran away, okay. Bag number nine, here comes. This is a beautiful collar necklace done all in shells and it has like three tiers to it. I thought it was so pretty and very worth showing and adding to one of our bags. I probably should get this out of here. It's on a silver tone chain with the lobster clasp and the shell beads are just really pretty. There's some pink glass faceted beads throughout as well. There's some round beads then you've got your shells, and then your pink faceted ones throughout. So, I love the browns. I love the abalone colors that are coming through. And it's just a really pretty piece that deserved to go to a good home. Now, this bracelet is just absolutely perfect. There's, I mean, there's nothing else to say. It matches exactly. I was very happy about that. And of course it's on a stretch. It sits at about a six and a half. And it's in marvelous condition. Really awesome. So there's your matching bracelet. There you go. And there wasn't much for earrings, but I did find these lovely clip-ons. They are, they almost look pearly themselves, but I think they are probably glass. And they are a little bit of a shade of pink, and they're on gold tone clip-ons. So those look really nice with it. I do love the round shapes, and they just look like shells, don't they? So that's bag number nine, and we will call that one Shelly, okay? And the price on this one is $28. So I hope you love bag number nine, Shelly, for 28. On goes our tag and our number. 
and in goes your beautiful shell bracelet, your super cute clip-ons, and your nice collar necklace, and I'll give it a measure. It's measuring 19 inches, and then you've got another two inches extension. So there you go. Really pretty piece. Bag number nine, Shelly, 28. Bag number 10. Gotta get my little papers out. I have for you, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I can't even describe this. Okay, this is a very beautiful glass necklace. It's all glass. It feels quite heavy. So I'm going to say they're definitely crystals, just from the weight alone. It does seem to be on a, not a gunmetal, but a darker silver tone. Look at it. It's even finished with the um, crystal. But take a look at that. Isn't that a beautiful crystal? And then it comes into the smoky color, and then the silver shimmery, then the clear again. So you have smoky, you have like an opaque, and then the clear again. And the, it is a little bit graduated. The beads get bigger as it comes to the front. It's so beautiful. Look at all that sparkle. Really excellent quality. That's all I can say about the crystals. They're just lovely. Okay, and what I put with this is a silver tone bracelet. It has one of what I, one of those beads that I call disco beads on there, and I think those are nice crystals as well. Look like very good quality, and there's some smoky ones in there too. And it's silver tone, and it's fully adjustable, and look at the cute little crystals on the end. So I thought that went pretty well with that. I was very happy with that piece. Now the bracelet is sitting right now at 8. But again, you just give it a little tug and you can adjust it any way you want. So there's your bracelet. And then I have these disco ball earrings, of course. And they are on like a gunmetal. And here's your beautiful little uh, disco ball to match what's on the bracelet. So that's that one and your earrings. And then, of course, some smaller earrings, like I always try to do. Here is a pair of just single little crystal earrings on a silver tone wire. Pretty sweet. So I hope you love this set. I can't say enough about that necklace. It's such nice quality. Um, let's see. We're going to call it Crystal... Crystal Disco, okay, bag number 10, Crystal Disco. I do think that's a one-of-a-kind necklace, and it's in great shape. So I'm going to price it up a little bit at, um, hmm, let's do that one at 48, okay? So bag number 10, Crystal Disco, 48. I hope you like all the matchings and and I hope it goes well. So in go your disco ball earrings. All new backs on all the earrings. And your nice little cuties. And your bracelet that has all the features you need to go with this very excellent, excellent necklace. And I'll just give you a real close up of it so you can get a look at those beads. It's just a stunner, it really is. Now, I can't remember if I measured it, so let me do that. It measures 18 inches, and it's just a gorgeous pile of crystals. Oh, it feels great in the hand. So there we go, bag number 10, Crystal Disco for 48. Bag 11, honestly, I don't know how many bags I have. I just made them, and I put them all on the table, and started rolling, so don't know. This is a great necklace. I'm trying again to appeal to everyone. It is 
an AEO, American Eagle Outfitters, I believe. That's the hang tag right there. It's on a gold tone chain that's in excellent shape. Beautiful. It's like a Rolo type chain, quite long. And look what we've got at the end of it. Isn't that stunning? I know that it's stone or at least glass. I'm hoping it's jade, but I'm gonna check it right now. But look at the hammer gold tone little circles and then how the beads come down and the Y drop. It's just precious, really precious. I should have measured it while I had it in the air, but that's okay, I'll do that in a minute. I do want to double it so it doesn't slide off and give you a good look at how it hangs. So pretty. Yep, Miss Prissy is still on, so that's good. And let's see what she has to say about the beads. I want to be careful that this wire doesn't get turned take good care of my machine. It's very, very valuable. So that is going up to jade. Oh, that's fantastic. So this big piece here is jade. And the smaller green beads are going to glass. So that's pretty. And the white ones at the bottom, they are going up into I like the garnet tourmaline area, so I'm not sure what the white ones would be, but that's wonderful. You have a beautiful piece of jade, and then the green glass beads, and I love the shade, the lighter shade, the real jade, and the others, so that's nice that it is real stone. Okay, then I have for you these brass, oh, these are so pretty. Um, they're brassy earrings. They have a little light texture to them. Um, I really was going to put these on eBay because they're just so stunning. I have brass and I have stone and I have checked off that they are jade. So these must have tested as jade as well. They're ice cold. So yes, so you're also getting a pair of jade earrings. They're quite stunning and they have that cute little piece on the bottom and a little pink bead there. But look how nice that looks together. So beautiful. Then I thought this brooch looked really nice. It's a white porcelain with a little green spot in the middle, and it just looked good, so I added it to it. Hope you love that. The bracelet part was tough, but I did find a white bracelet with some gold tone beads. It is from whoever that maker is, and it's signed there. Let me see if I can read that. Caden and Charlie. So it's a nice glass bracelet on a stretch, and it would add to the set for sure. So there you go. There's your beautiful Jade American Eagle Outfitter. So I'll put AEO Jade. Um, let's see, what am I doing next? Um, it is a stretch bracelet, but it sits at about a six and uh, three quarters. So you've got your faceted glass bracelet from a designer, your porcelain brooch in the shape of a flower, these lovely brass and jade earrings, and that's the back of them, super nice condition, and the American Eagle Outfitters gorgeous necklace, oh, super long too. It measures 30 inches to the Y drop. So that's 30 inches all the way along the chain. And again, I'm so happy with the condition of this chain. It's beautiful. So there you go. I love to match a bag of soft greens and gold tones. and just came out really good. I'm so happy with that one. So bag 11, AEO Jade. We'll do this one for 49. So bag 11, AEO Jade, 49. There we go. Now I'm just peeling the bags off as they come. Bag 12, right? We're on 12. Okay, that's a lousy 12. There you go. 
Now, bag 12 is a beautiful vintage torsade faux pearl necklace. It has white pearls, silvery pearls, and like a blue peacock faux pearl twisted together. It is graduated, so they're bigger as you come to the front. And it's really twisted just perfectly. There's no issues with it at all. It falls really great. It's on this gold tone fish hook clasp. It's in beautiful condition, I'm happy to say. It measures about 16 inches. So if you need an extender, let me know. But there it is, so pretty. And to go with your white, silver, and darker pearls, I have these lovely earrings. They have some faux pearls on them as well. I believe that's glass. And they have silver filigree ends and some black faceted glass. And they're also on silver tone. I like those with it. They look pretty. Then I'm also adding these earrings. They are probably black glass and rhinestone. They cute. So I like the shimmer. I like picking up the black color and just thought those were pretty. And for a bracelet, I have an almost black glass bracelet with a really pretty spinny crystal in the middle on silver tone um, embellishments as well. And it's a stretch. It's sort of a gray blue, which really went nicely with that. So I hope you love bag 12. We're going to call it Twisted Pearls. And I will price this one at 29. So bag 12, Twisted Pearls, is just $29. You've got pierced earrings, another pair of pierced, a nice glass bracelet, and your beautiful classic torsade pearl necklace. So I hope you love that. It's in good shape, no scratching either. Bag 12, 29. Okay, bag number 13. I'm looking over there to see how many I have left. I'll try to go quickly because I know that I'm taking extra time with the measuring, but that's okay, right? I'm glad I'm getting a video up rather than saying I can't do one. So, bag 13 we are on, and I have a beautiful J. Crew necklace. Look at that. Isn't that so stunning? It's got this brushed gold tone, a very mauvey red stone, light blue, orange, crystals, black crystals. I mean, only like J. Crew can do, right? The gold color is fabulous. The Rolo chain, I mean, look at the condition. It's great. And here is your J. Crew name right there, right? Let me just check, because sometimes Talbots can look like J. Crew. No, it is a J. Crew, definitely. Okay, so there's your J. Crew necklace. And with this, I have some lovely enamel earrings in that same color, gold tone, and it picks up the same red color that's in the necklace and almost picks up the same shape too, so I like that. I have three gold tone bangles that have some lovely texture on them. I thought those looked nice. I don't even have to measure them, I know they're eight inches. So that's that. And I like these earrings, they're fun with this too. Gold tone earrings, and they're in great shape, and I like the texture of them very much. So there you go with your J. Crew set. It's a gorgeous necklace. What quality jewelry they make, right? So we're just going to call it J. Crew. And I'm going to price this one at 54. So bag 13 is J. Crew for 54. And you've got three bangles 
you have two pairs of earrings, a pair of vintage, super quality pierced earrings. I think they are signed. Or is that just texture? Let me see. I'm not sure, but there's such there's such good made pieces back then, so I love that. Then you have your super fun earrings in great shape, and your J Crew necklace. And here's the back. Just so pretty, right? And the color gold, so nice. And this necklace measures. 16 inches and then you have another two inch extender. So there's your J Crew. I've never seen stones fall off of J Crew ever. They're just great. They're really good, well made. So that's bag 13 J Crew for 54. Okay. Wow, I almost want to say maybe we shouldn't do so many. Bag 14. Try to go fast. Bag 14, I already know what I'm calling this bag because that's what the necklace reminds me of. And this one is called Betty Rubble because this is definitely a Betty Rubble necklace for sure. This is an older acrylic necklace that has beads that are shaped like pebbles and they get much bigger as they come to the front. It is not hand knotted in between but the beads don't slide around they're all you know they're in the position that they're in which is nice so this is how it goes and the beads get bigger towards the front and it just looks like a Betty Rubble necklace to me I love it so cute and oh it's on a gold spring ring type clasp so there's the necklace and I have these clip-on earrings that are just round, probably acrylic round ball. They are silver tone clip-ons and they're in great shape. This is the glue on the back. It's not at all soiled, it's just the glue. So those are in fabulous condition. They look good with it. Then I have these silver tone textured earrings, just in case you didn't want to wear too much of the white color. I thought that was really pretty with that. And the circles, the circles, um, the circle theme continues, I guess I wanted to say. And the earrings really tie in the bracelet, which is a white acrylic stretch bracelet, and it has silver tone around the beads. So I really hope you love Betty Rubble set. It is so cute. And I am going to say that's quite a cool necklace. It really is a cool one. Um, well, let's put the stuff in the bag so I can think about it. You have your stretch bracelet sitting at a six and three quarter, but again, stretch. Your silver tone pierced earrings, excellent shape. Your clip-on earrings that are also in great condition. And your Betty Rebel necklace. Let's measure it. Pretty big size beads in the front. This is fun. I think it's such a fun piece. And this is 24 inches. So there you go. Betty Rubble. So for bag 14 called Betty Rubble, I will say $34. Oops, I really try not to write on Buster. Sorry, Buster boy. I'll have to get some hairspray out and get that off. So one last time, bag 14, Betty Rubble, 34. Okay. Oh, I like this bag too. We are on bag 15. I can't believe I did this many today. I actually did them yesterday and then added more today. So I've been so busy. This is a very classic navy blue and gold tone beaded necklace. It has this barrel clasp that may or may not say Monet. Let me have a look and see if it's signed. Well, I'm not seeing anything right now, but it's in really good condition. You just can't beat that beautiful navy blue. 
of back in the day, you know. And I love the, the, the shiny beads and then the textured gold tone. It's so 70s, 80s, right? So there's your navy blue necklace with the gold barrel clasp. And to go with that, I have some navy blue enamel Avon earrings. And they are also gold tone. They're in excellent condition. They are signed on the back. And they are just a lovely navy blue, just like the necklace. So I hope you love those. I'm going to give you a nice close up so you can see the color. Because it's nighttime and it's harder to record at night. So to add to this, I'm adding another beautiful scarf clip. Not that the necklace needs it at all, but if you wanted to add this to the necklace, it really does look cute. You can wear it on the bottom, you can wear it on your scarf, wherever you'd like to. And then I'm adding another pair of just little tiny gold tone earrings for those that like to wear smaller things and this lovely clamper gold tone bracelet. I've had this a little while and I just love it. It has like a pebbled look to it. It's in really good shape. Look at the gold on it. Isn't it nice? And the inside, it's a beautiful clamper. And it measures six and a half. And I'm thinking Frida is gonna love this. And that's no pressure to you, Frida. But I did say that when I start to think someone's gonna like something, that I might say it on the camera. But I'm also going to say it does not mean any pressure to buy it. It just means that I've gotten to know you and I think you that this is your style and you might like it. Okay, so let's say, um, let's just call this navy blue. So we have bag number 15, navy blue, and we have Avon navy acrylic, uh, I'm sorry, not acrylic, um, enamel earrings with gold tone and another pair of cute little gold tone earrings a lovely scarf clip in gold tone and your nice clamper in good shape and your classic blue and gold necklace barrel clasp and the necklace measures about 20 21 inches so there you go, there's your navy blue. So that is bag 15 called navy blue. And I will say, let's do 47 on this one. Okay, bag 15, navy blue, 47. Now, not too many left, but a few. Oh, did I run out of papers? Wow, I can't believe I made so many. But that's okay. I hope they go really well and everybody loves them. So we're on bag 16. Most times I do 20 bags, so I don't think it's a lot of bags. I think I just started out with the friend mail and it just uh, took a little longer. But I'm okay with that if you are. Also, I always get so involved in the jewelry that I forget to ask you all to please let me know in the comments what your favorite bags are and your favorite styles and what you might want to see me put together because it's really good to have your feedback and to know um, what you might want me to do in the future. I will say without complaining that they are a lot of work, so when I do the work I want to make sure it's really what you want. So this is a super cute black and white statement necklace, and it really does behave well. You just have to lay it down, and there it goes. It has these adorable tassel -y beads here, and it also has like a leather, let me see, it's more like a silky ribbon through the chain, but it's in excellent condition. I don't see anywhere, there's no issues. The gold tone chain is in great shape too. So, 
We have a black ribbon through a gold chain. These are all black round pieces. Then you've got white here, and then your white under there, and a black and white beaded little tassel on, on what, one, two, three, four, five of them. And then the ones on the outside don't have the tassel. So isn't that cute? And I think these earrings are a real match to it. They did come together. And I'm pretty sure that has to be a match because look at that. Aren't they cute? They have the same little tassel. So you can't go wrong with those. They're gold tone wires. And so cute. So there's that. And then I put also another pair of earrings that I thought were so pretty. I don't know what these are made of. I think they are, they're definitely metal. And then they're painted with a very soft paint. They have gold and faux pearls in the middle. They're pierced and they are just black petal earrings. Really pretty. I loved how they went with the set. So I hope you like that too. And then for a bracelet, I really like this one. It just really fit the set. I don't know why. I think maybe the, the chain and the ribbon and I don't know, but I just liked it. It really went well, I thought. The bracelet measures. Hmm, how do you do these? Maybe six and a half. It can be adjusted a little bit. I wouldn't adjust it a ton, but you can definitely adjust it. And remember when you put these on, Put this part into the soft part of your wrist and then roll your wrist into it. And you'll enjoy your cuff bracelets a lot more than just trying to shove them on and off. So the gold tone's in great shape. I hope you love that one. And this is bag 16. And I am going to call it yachting. It just feels like you're going to go yachting in this set. It really does. Bag 16. Yachting. And in this bag, you have your necklace and matching earrings. Gold tone, black and white. Your extra pair of earrings with the pearls. Your lovely statement necklace. And it is 18 inches and another two or three inch extender. So 18 to 20, 22 inches. So there goes your necklace and your super nice cuff gold tone bracelet. So there's bag 16 going yachting. And I will say 36 on this bag, okay? I hope you love it. Now, I don't know if this is the best bag, but it sure is really up there with the best of the best. And that's because, well, a lot of things, but the necklace is one of those one of a kind, you have to have it kind of necklaces. But first, let me say it's bag 17, right? Yeah, before I get lost and I don't remember. So, bag 17, we start out with this absolutely gorgeous pink faceted glass necklace, it's super long. And it has faux pearls in it as well. It's all hand knotted and it's just stunning. Oh my gosh, like look at this necklace. Could you think of like 20 things that could go with? Can you imagine this with like a, a really cute sweater or even a beautiful gown? I think that would go with so many things. My pinky is still broken. All right, I'm gonna try to measure it really long. It's definitely um, 60, 62 inches long. So isn't that great? That's super fun. Now, because it doesn't have a clasp, you could still probably get three. Let's see, can you get three out of it? Mm, probably not, but you're definitely gonna get two wraps out of it. But I'm gonna leave it to three just for the sake of it fitting well on Buster. So here it is. It's all these glass faceted beads with a shimmer on them. And then every once in a while, there's a faux pearl in there. And you can see the hand knotting of the pink thread in between. So beautiful. I really love it. I'm 
adding this gold brooch, I thought it would look so stunning pinned right there or on the side. Remember, you're going to have two strands, so that's what it would look like. Absolutely love that. And then to match, I am putting with it the earrings that we just unboxed in our 45-pound box. When I saw these earrings, I think I even said on the video that I have a necklace these might go with, and I was right. They do go very well with this necklace. So I love these. Crystal, pink, gray, all kinds of pretty colors, gold wires. They look superb with that necklace. And then I'm also adding these beautiful earrings. They have pink and sort of a gold color and some filigree. So if you didn't want to wear these, you could wear more on the pink side. I thought those were very beautiful. And this very soft stone bracelet with gold tone beads in between. It's on a stretch. I do think this is natural stone, it's just not polished. Yes, it is. So this is rhodochrosite that's nice and soft and not polished. All stone with the gold tone beads, so such a beautiful piece. It sits at seven inches and again is a stretch, so I love that. So I hope you love this bag 17. I think that necklace is a super duper find, and I am gonna call it, what do you think? Pretty in pink, you got it. So that's bag 17, pretty in pink. And look, I'm still wearing my bracelet from Anne. So cool. And pretty in pink. Okay, let me put the pieces in so I can think. You have natural stone bracelet, super groovy, brooch slash pendant. You have these gorgeous filigree and pink earrings, plus these crystal earrings, and the stunning 62 inch glass faceted beaded necklace. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So I hope you love that. I That might be my favorite bag. I'm trying to think, gosh, the jade bag was so pretty. The blue bag was pretty, the J. Crew. I guess I can't pick a favorite, but if I had to, it'd probably be this one. So I'm gonna price this one at 62, and you let me know what you think. I think it's awesome and worth every bit of that. But you let me know what you think of that, and we'll talk to you on the email. So that's bag 17. The last one of the night and it's for 62 called pretty in pink okay so now I have to figure out how to make a thumbnail I have to take jewelry out of the bags and make sure I put it back in the right way so one last time I'll remind you that my email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com if you'd like to purchase one of the bags or two or three just send me an email and let me know that you want um, some of the bags of jewelry from Saturday night episode number I think we're on number 19 but check the title because I don't want to be wrong so Saturday night fun jewelry bags episode whichever a brief description of the jewelry the bag number and the price given okay thank you so very much for that and thanks so much for watching I'm so glad that you're here I'll be watching for your comments. I'd love to answer those. So let me know what was your favorite. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. And click the like button on your way out, okay? And I hope you'll subscribe because I really enjoy the channel and I enjoy every one of you. So thank you very much. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.